Welcome back with Featured Volcano of the Day, going with Lil Sitkin in Alaska, Stratovolcano. 3,852 foot elevation is dormant. Um, tends to be explosive with the last known eruptions being 1828-1830 time frame and 1776. Um, guess first fireworks in America since independence, I guess? I don't know. Um... You know, Alaska was part of Russia at the time, I'm pretty sure. Um, anyways, Little Sitkin Volcano formed a small island from the same island, same name in the western Aleutian Islands, um, and belongs to the Aleutian Island National Wel Wildlife Refuge. The, the active stratovolcano rises 1188 meters, 3898 feet in the center northernmost part the center northeastern part of the island the island is located 330 kilometers 200 miles northwest of the community of Adak and 7 377 kilometers or 234 miles south south e just southeast of Atu and 2173 kilometers or 1500 uh, 1350 miles southwest of Anchorage, Alaska. Little Second Island's diamond shape is dominated by two nested 4 kilometer wide Okay, what is going on? Uh cold arrows. Um so, yeah, that formed during the growth of the volcano. Little is known about its geologic and volcanic history. Little Sitkin has kicked me off. Uh, has two historical eruptions in the 18th and 19th centuries that produced ash and lava flows. There are three long-lived fibrolic and hot springs areas on the west flank of the volcano that contains a cluster of boiling acidic pools. So, continuing on. More data. Uh, yeah, uh, leaks will be in the description box below. Uh, so, diamond shape, L Little Second Island, is bounded by steep cliffs on the east, north, and northeast sides. Little Second Island contains two crest nested calderas, the older, nearly circular Blastocene caldera. That will be its own video. Uh, yeah, Blastocene caldera is. 4.8 kilometers wide and may have once contained a caldera lake and it was partially filled by a younger cone formed mostly an anesthetic of anesthetic and decidic lava flows the elliptical younger caldera is 2.7 by 4 kilometers wide or 2 I don't know uh, it lies within the eastern part of the older caldera and shares its eastern and southern rim. The younger caldera partially destroyed the lava cone within the first caldera and is, the, and is a possible early Holocene age. Young looking descendant lava flows erupted in 1828, K. N. Wood, and Kid Lee 1990. Uh, issued from the central cone within the younger caldera and from a vent on the west flank outside the older caldera. Fibrolic areas are found near the western coast along the northwest margin of the older caldera and from the south from the summit crater down the southern flank for a one kilometer distance. Horrible excuse for satellite imagery and Looks to be a couple things from uh, 2013. Leaks to both will be description box below after we go over it. Uh, an earthquake swarm occurred yesterday. It was strong enough to trigger a raise in alert level. It, it was not strong enough to, uh, to uh, trigger a raise in alert level. Uh, looks to be a lot more stuff, actually. A lot more earthquake swarms. Uh, but anyways, uh, that does appear to be it. Stay safe. See you in the next video.